Hey guys, vlog time with Gamerstar579, or in other case, Margo, my transgender vlogs. And so, as you all know, I came out as transgender in one of my other videos. If you haven't gone to see that, please go check it out. It's going to be right up there. And... Yeah, and I, you know, I'll explain everything, you know, up to that point in getting where I am in a different video. And so please hang, hold on, hang, bleh, please hang in there for that one. And, you know, we'll continue this journey together. But today I am kind of upset, um, mainly at myself, completely at myself, nobody else. This is all me. You know, people have these days that they're upset with themselves. And, you know, everyone's been telling me I'm so brave and I'm an amazing person for doing this and accepting who I am and finally becoming who I want to be. And, you know, at times I feel like that, but not all the time. Okay, so tomorrow in the whole weekend, I will be at a convention and I was going to take this time to fully go as Margot, let her enjoy a convention, her first one. I was going to wear girls clothes. I was going to do makeup and everything. I was going to finally be able to get the outside to look like the inside just for a few days and really f test that out and feel comfortable with it and right now that is completely on the fence if that's going to happen mainly because of what happened today i went a while back to get some clothes with my friend good friend i've known her forever and, you know, that was a difficult experience in and of itself. Not the experiencing it with my friend, just, you know, she finally saw what goes through my head when I'm in a store. And, and you know, that was difficult, that part. Um, and it happened again. So I went and returned the pants, pair of blue jeans that I purchased without trying on because I just felt hesitant about trying things on I didn't know what dressing room I should go to because some people mistake me as a woman some people most people see me as a man and I didn't want to be like going to the men's side and her be like the girl and that kind of stands at the dressing room go oh no no you have to go into the women's that's the men's side or if I automatically go to the men's side and her be like, I'm sorry, sir, you have to go over to the women, or to the men's. That's the women's side. You know, that's very hard for me to, like, not really grasp, but to accept that that might happen from, to myself. Like, I know it will, somehow. And I can't seem to just get past that. And so, I just bought the pants. And surprisingly enough, the size that I thought I was going to be, I'm not. I'm actually a smaller size, which is fantastic. Um, so I went and returned them at Target. Just a pair of blue jeans. You know, or jeggings, I think. Uh, they were, which I didn't actually realize I, they were, but they were. Um, and so... I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to this mall. It has all the stores that I'm going to hit up today, you know, to finalize what I need for, you know, everything I need for the convention. And so I get there, go in, return the pants, all is good. That is until I go to start looking and I realize that there are a lot of people which is funny because it's a freaking Wednesday. Why do you bitches not have work? Seriously. Go to work. So 
it was packed. Like there were enough people to off put off put me, and I started to have a panic attack, and I couldn't do it. Like I couldn't just search for the pants. I knew exactly which ones I was looking for. I knew the brand, and I was gonna grab a couple and try them on. And and that was it. That was what it was gonna be. Um. And technically, I kind of blame myself for the fact that I didn't go to the mall that was closer to me. I went to this slightly nicer mall, one that has a Cinnabon, huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, and you know, it. I had that panic attack, and the mall that's closer to me, the dressing rooms are actually right next to each other. Like, you walk in, and on one side, there's the women's. On the other side, there's the men's. So you can kind of break apart at the entrance and go in. Kind of like bathrooms sometimes. We'll have that one entrance, and then they split apart. That was like this. And the one that I went to to return the pants is two floors. And the women's is on one floor. The men's is on the another. And... So I really started to get upset and have a like a panic attack and which is kind of funny because I've never experienced a panic attack until now. And you know, it's just it's frustrating because then I'm like, you know what? Let's just leave. Let's just go get the shoes that I want. Because I was going to look for a different pair of flats. Um, because the ones that I have are for my bell cosplay and, you know, they're comfortable, but they're not too comfortable unless you're wearing like nylons with it. And I also wanted to see if I could find boots or something, something cute. And I walk in and that's packed. And I just, I get so worried about what people are thinking and, you know, oh, it's a guy shopping for women's stuff. Why? And it's not, like, I think I would have felt better if it was younger people. It's not. It's mothers and it's, like, old people and people who might not have a more liberal view, a more open-minded view of things. And I just, I panicked. So I purchased a pair of shoes that I needed for work, which I was I was going to grab anyways, now that I remember that. And, um, sorry, I cried on my way home from the mall and my eyelashes are sticking together. Mm, my ugly face. And, yeah, I, I just, I panicked. So I purchased the shoes that I was going to purchase, the ones for work, and I walked out. And then I'm like, I couldn't even get myself to walk into, um, Torrid, which is kind of like a younger, more like Forever 21 version of Lane Bryant, which is what I was looking for because I was trying to find a bra that would go all the way around because normal sized ones don't go around my body because I'm big big to begin with but then like, if you poke my sides I don't have a smaller rib cage than women do because I didn't do this when I was 16 I'm doing this while I'm 28 almost 29 and yeah I was gonna go there and then I just I couldn't like at that point in time I was in full-blown panic and I was about to start crying in the mall so I went and I, I took my shoes and I walked out. I just walked out of the mall. I got into my car and I full on started crying because it's so frustrating and it's so angry and I'm kind of getting upset again. Um, that I can't get past this fear. I can't. And it's upsetting because this is who I am and this is what I want to do and this is what feels right and I just I I can't get past the idea of what people think because what they're seeing is not really what matches up I I look like a guy I still look like a guy 
even though people will mistake me for a girl, I look like a guy. I, I just, I can't do it in it. It just, I can't. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, I have tops, but I don't have jeans. I have guys' jeans, but I don't have girls' jeans. More feminine looking, more closer to the body. You know, if you look at guys' jeans and you look at girls' jeans, they're definitely different. The cut is different. And I'm tired of ordering things online because I don't know the sizes. I don't know how they're going to look or how they're going to, like, fit. And then I have to spend the time to return them or get them altered, and that's extra money. And I'm just, I'm tired of having to purchase things, run home, try them on, and then return them again because they don't fit. And I just... Difficult. This is one of the harder parts, and it's not all just, hey, look at me. I look fabulous. I go out. I just, you know, everything's perfect. My world is all rosy and flowers and cotton candy and unicorns. It's not. You know, it's. It's this stuff, too. It's dealing with your own fears and your own struggles and yes you are brave for coming out and realizing this is who you want to be and that goes for anybody if you realize who you want to be who you really want to be and 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 that's amazing that's being brave but then you have to deal with the fear and someone needs to show the rawness of it and like I said, Princess Jules does from time to time, but this is, this is it. This is my fears, my insecurities, and it hurts. It, it really hurts, and it's so frustrating because I can't get past it. I can't, for some reason, it's almost like I can't prove myself to myself. I'm strong enough to do this. And it hurts when I hear people sit there and say, I'm so brave. Because I'm not. I'm not at all. And. I'm. I'm. I hurt. And it's frustrating. So. That was my story for today. Yay, story time. Um. Again. Uh, look for two more gaming videos, I promise. Um, and then more vlogs. Uh, as always, you know, do the normal stuff that you do on YouTube videos. Like, comment, subscribe. And always remember to stay gorgeous. Can't even remember my, uh, like, outro right now. Um. Okay. Stay classy, guys. There we go.